Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. In this beam there is no load. The support B sinks by 6 millimeter. The width of the beam is given as 60 millimeter and the depth of the beam is given as 100 millimeter. The Young's modulus E is given as 200 gigapascal. Let us convert the breadth and the depth into meter. For that we have to divide them by 1000. For the breadth we will get 0 0.06 meter and for the depth we will get 0 0.1 meter. Now let us find the moment of inertia I. The formula is BD cube upon 12. Let us apply the breadth and the depth. For the moment of inertia, we will get 5 into 10 power minus 6 meter power 4. The Young's modulus E is given as 200 gigapascal. We know that giga is 10 power 9 and pascal is newton per meter square. We need to convert this into kilo newton per meter square. We have to divide this value by 1000 so that we will get 200 into 10 power 6 kilo newton per meter square. Let us multiply the Young's modulus with the moment of inertia so that we will get 1000 kilo newton meter square. The settlement at B is given in millimeter. When we divide that by 1000, we will get in meter. Now from the point B, about the point A, we are going to find the bending moments and draw the bending moment diagram. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. First, let us take the vertical reaction RB. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 RB into 6. We will get 6 RB. The diagram will be in the shape of triangle. Now let us take the moment MB. Let us assume that it is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The diagram will be in the shape of a rectangle. Let us keep this diagram as number 1 and this one as number 2. Now let us find the area 1. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle. Half into BH. Here the breadth is 6 and the height is 6RB. For area 1, we will get 18RB. Now let us find the area 1 x1 bar. We know the area 1. Let us apply that. We have to find the x1 bar. For this triangle, the centroid distance towards the left is 1 upon 3 into B. Here the breadth is 6. So 1 upon 3 into 6. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 36 RB. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a rectangle. When we multiply MB with 6, we will get the area. We know that it is negative. Now let us find the area 2 x2 bar. We know the area 2. Let us apply that. We need to find x bar 2. We know that for the rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. When we divide the length 6 by 2, we will get the centroid distance. For area 2 x bar 2, we will get minus 18 mb. We know that either in the support A, or in the support B, there is no slope. So area upon EI will be equal to 0. There are two areas, area 1 and area 2. We know that EI is constant and both of these two terms it is common. We can take EI on the other side. 0 into EI, we will get 0. Let us apply the values of area 1 and area 2. Let us keep this equation as number 1. We know that the support B sinks by 0 0.006 meter. So area x bar upon EI 
will be equal to 0 0.006. Now we have to check the level. The point A is higher than the point B. In this case, we have to apply the settlement as positive. We know the value of EI, 1000. Let us take it on the other side. So it will come in the numerator. Let us apply the values of area 1 x1 bar and area 2 x2 bar. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now we can solve these two equations so that we will get RB and MB. For RB, we have got a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. We assumed that RB would be acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. For MB also, we have got a negative value. We assumed that it would be acting in the clockwise direction, but actually it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we can easily find the vertical reaction RA because in this beam there is no load. So the values of RB and RA will be same, but the direction will be different. RB is acting downwards, so RA should be acting upwards. Now from the point B, let us take a moment about A and find MA. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. RB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6. Both of these two movements are acting in the anticlockwise direction. So both of them are positive. Finally for MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now using the right hand side rule, let us find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now let us find the bending moment in the point A. For that we can use the right hand side rule. In the point A, we have MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Now using left hand side rule, we can find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. We are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.